Lee. Tonight we're joined by scandalous screen couple Jake and Loretta from Hollyoaks, aka Kevin Saker and Melissa Walton. We're just down there. We're just down there. Just right? down there. Yeah, just down there. Uh, they are going to be talking to us about the Don James and Josie tension blues. Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling yes. all that tension. Plus, Josie's yeah. auntie oh. will be giving us the inside tip on whether our bubbly Bristolian would see Keely in competition or if she's just playing John James for attention. Oh. Yeah. Wait a minute. Is someone getting a really strong whiff of deja vu here? Hang it's not on. the colour you had last night, is it? Hey? Oh, huh? amazing. It's all about timing and delivery. <laughs> well, it's uh, no, uh, we've got past life regression list and uh, Andrea, <laughs> Andrea Fawkes here, <laughs> uh, to uh, one of our oh, new housemates. Back to our picture, who knows? But one thing we do know is that housemates have been nominating all afternoon. <laughs> Out a bit later in the show. This show really is as full as Karen's makeup bag. So let's get started and look at all the action from last night. Oi, Skippy, tell each and every one of them lot an astonishing fact relating to Australia. They've all got to be complete nonsense. Now rack off, bucko. I fell down here, Rock. <laughs> Mum used to own a house that was on Ramsey Street. I'm really proud of you. Whoa, that was intense. How are you finding your fellow housemates? I love them. I really, 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 really like them. I've got her sussed already. You might think I'm a bit controlling. Well, she's coming here to try and take control of the mothership. It's not going to happen there, is it? I think they quite like it. Call me crab eyes five times in front of the new house, basically. No, I never. Yeah, You're mate. such a lawyer. We wind the teeth. Chelsea can't be cream eyes. I'll just go and tell Andrew that you got 98 chins. Is that all right? I want to strangle him. If I don't have her friendship, I just want to go home. Woo! It's all yeah. happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Over there. Yeah! yeah. yeah. He just wants his airtime. Uh, right, from stalking, stripping, and doing time, our next couple know all too well the pitfalls of being a hot shot couple on the box. It's Holly Oaks, it's Jake and Loretta, Kevin Saker, and Melissa Walker. <laughs> How are you both? Great. It's good. Yeah, Whoa, nice to be seeing? outside the Big Brother house. Yes, yeah, sun in the eyes is great. I know, it's strange. terrible <laughs> sitting that way. You can't see a thing. Would you, you like my. Yeah. Yeah, just, you can just wear those. Yeah, yeah, I just won't see the auto kit, does it? Oh, no. Sex and legs or what? Um, right then. Oh, all right, not good enough. <laughs> uh, right, let's get down to it. Um, now, you're relatively new on Hollyoaks. Relatively. Uh, relatively new. Imagine Compared to Kevin. Like Kev. Yeah, <laughs> and we've got, we've got three new housemates that went in there on Friday. Yeah. So, what do they need to do, do you think, to settle in from your point of view? I think the important thing is to just be yourself, see who you connect with. Like, if you go in and just try and, like, some people come in and try and be like someone else. and Because oh, it must be popular. quite hard to, to try and integrate into a group that already know each it other. It is, yeah, because obviously everyone's already been there a while, everyone's set in their ways, they've got their own little cliques. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, just be yourself, I think. And as an old hat, what would, what advice would you give to the newbies? Uh, don't come and try and rock the boat instantly. Uh, don't go in and go, God, this place is filthy, it needs a, it needs a clean. Don't she tell somebody. She did say from the beginning that it's very honest. <laughs> no, just come in and sort of, like, take your time. Softly, softly sort of approach. Softly, Does, softly, yeah, catchy monkey. Exactly. yes. Uh, right, OK, <laughs> because, um, you know, the new housemate's gone in there, we thought this was a prime opportunity to, um, to, to reflect and have a look at some of our latecomers from the past. So which big brother did we decide to go with? One, two, three, <laughs> Big brother four! That's right! Here's Lisa demonstrating how not to win over your housemates. <laughs> I've been a bit of a looker in my time, right. and all I've ever had off of women is bitchiness. But believe you me when I say I can look after myself. I did self-defense. I could I could kill somebody Kick with heads. those two fingers. And I know and I know <laughs> I can look after myself. I I had to. Oh mm. dear. <laughs> <laughs> with those two fingers. Oh, what what dear. did you what did Kevin what did you make of God, Big Brother for? Dark. <laughs> oh no, I switched off. But, but then she would, if she'd have gone into it like a later series, I think she'd have been a brilliant character. It was just mm. an odd Maybe it was just the, the wrong year. So let's talk about Josie and John James. Oh. 
Oh, look at the love. That's She's so really sweet. Already. What That's do you so think sweet. of them? Are you buying the relationship? Do I you... think it's completely genuine, yeah. I think, I think, to be honest, if it was all for the cameras, then there'd be a lot more touchy-feely on show doing things in front of the cameras. And I think it's just not like that. It's very, it's very innocent. It's just like friendship at the moment. Right. What do Although, you think I think John James is quite clued up that he's in the house. He's very, he's very aware. aware. He's, he's done his Big Brother research. Yeah, you know, he's, he's, he's quite good at guessing what might occur and things like that. But I do think the relationship's genuine. He's, he seems to be one of these guys that likes people that um, are genuine themselves. So yeah. that's why I think they, got, they became mates because they had their little tiffs to begin with and they exactly. sort of fell out and they're like, you tease the girl you like when you're at school yeah. sort Aww. of thing. It's that Pull kind the of pigtails of the one yeah. you love and all of that. Yeah. Now, your character on Hollyoaks was a little bit of a bunny boiler. Just a little bit. Just a little saying. bit. Little Do you bit. think um, <laughs> Josie has bunny boiler potential? <laughs> I don't think so. I think she, I think most girls have the potential to be. Um, like I think depends on the girl, guy. I think um, <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> it depends on the guy and how he messes it is, with it your is, head it emotionally. Is, it is, it is. But when Keely's come in, like I think a lot of girls would have been yeah. a bit kind of. She's. I don't know. Get you back to a little bit. Josie's just been so like she's just completely like okay. kind of gone on the defence herself. Yeah, she has. She's worried, isn't she? Yeah. Now to, to find out, to, to, work, to work out whether uh, Josie genuinely feels threatened by little old Keely that's gone in there, we've got a lady who knows her very well on the la on the line. Uh, Josie's Auntie Kay. Are you there, Auntie Kay? Hello. Yes. Hello. I how am, are yes. you? Hello. Are you good? Yes. Good. Yeah. Good. Um, now Josie and John James. <laughs> <laughs> right on giggle. Um, seem to be on and off more times than Iffy's wig. What's going on? I don't know. I think she feels um, threatened by the other girl. She Re really, really likes John James. So we have a definite Big Brother romance as far as Josie's concerned. Yes, yes, I do. Yeah, big time. OK, well, um, as of 8.18 last night, Josie was still riding old crab eyes. Um, here's an exclusive <laughs> clip from tonight's show. <laughs> what sauce on are you? What are you talking to me? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Why did you offer me to <laughs> Do you know what I thought? At all? I'd be quite. I'd, 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 I'd be quite happy not speaking to you for the rest of the programme now. <laughs> I don't understand why. I don't understand why. You're just an embarrassment. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. You know that. Well, I'm, you know that I'm not that malicious person like that. You know that I didn't. That's not my intention. You, 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 what you should have done, right, John? Is what you should have done. You should have taken an argument up with the right person and not took it out on me, again. <laughs> So, Kay, why did Josie why did Josie get so upset with him? Do you think? Uh, because she felt threatened by the uh, by the other girl. And because she really loves him. Yeah, because she really, really likes him. Really, really likes so, him. So, we'll see a romance. You think when they come out the house? Yes, there will. Yes. Yeah, Brilliant. Definitely. Thank you so much, Kay. Thank you. Bye. Um, Bye. So, um. So you guys, we would love you to go into the camera runs because, you know, we, we've had a little sneak peek of what's going to happen tonight, but we would love you to go in there and have a look at what's going on with Josie and JJ and everybody else. So is that cool? That's very, very cool. Awesome. Melissa and Kevin, everybody. Uh, time now to see how Zig and Zag got on when they got drunk on the Lord, l Lord and uh, took over Dave's diary room chat. Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. This is odd-sounding Big Brother here. Hi, uh, how are you doing yeah. today? How are you? You you look a bit ill. What's wrong? Have you been eating pickled eggs again? I am very, very intoxicated right now on the love of our Lord. So much oh. love bubbling oh. out of my belly for everyone. Is that what the smell is? Oh, yeah. I thought Zag left the shoes on the radiator again. Yeah, no, no, it was the <laughs> pickled eggs. <laughs> Dave, we met briefly before you went into the house, and correct me if I'm wrong, but... Well, I got the feeling that you had the hots for my brother Zig. Huh? He did, he did, you know. In fact, he asked me out on a date. What did you say? Well, I, I said I was flattered, but no. Besides, yes. there wouldn't be a future. I don't think the big man upstairs agrees with interspecies marriage. Yeah, good mm. point. Dave, how did you feel when Zig turned you down? Slightly disappointed, but at the same time, I wasn't surprised. Yeah. Um, so how, how does being around Zig make you feel? Sometimes it feels like I'm just being tickled. Oh. Sometimes it's just like, you know, an ecstatic joy. Wow. Sometimes for a whole day I just feel like totally ecstatic, alive. Wow. I just get so overwhelmed with love. I just want to sit somewhere on my own and just let his love just wash over me. Well, OK. 
Yeah, yeah. Anything else, Dave? No, um, there's one thing, just a practical thing. I had a shirt taken off me um, when I came in. It was a really nice shirt that I bought. It had some stripes okay. on uh, it. Yeah, yeah. let me just stop you there, Dave. Yeah. Um, we haven't uh, seen that shirt, no. Right, yeah, we've no idea what you're talking about. We've got to go. Dave, sorry, security are here. Yep. Security are here, stop. Yes. Hey. Nice shirt there, boys. Yeah. So we got breaking news. we got breaking news. This week's nominations have been revealed online. This computer here wow. signifying online, guys. Uh, we're going to be telling you who uh, they are later. Uh, but if you can't wait that long, head over to our website. You can do that via a computer right now. After the break, we'll be finding out how the housemates' past lives could affect their future. Andrea Fox is here. <laughs> Welcome back to Little Brother. It's 16. Now, if you didn't hit the home page during the break, you'll have to wait a little bit longer for the nomination results, though. Uh, first, let's go over to Kevin and Melissa, who are in the camera runs. Guys, how are we doing? Oh, this is so weird. It's very bizarre. How but much are you loving it in there? Yeah, yeah. John James is in bed, and we think... Josie's in there, Josie's too. In Josie's in the bed yes. with John James. It's so looking that? good, people. Oh, Young Love Dream is back on. Yes. Oh, look, he's just he's there. back on. What else is going on? That's a lot well, of cleaning. Corinne's just been cleaning, and which is singing. good, because it's quite oh, dirty. Smelling in there, because usually kind of six, seven weeks in, it's starting to get a bit funky. Oh, look, he's right there. Who's right there? Who's right there? I don't Alan. know who's right there. Alan. Is this for me? Oh, I think my mic's not working very well. Andrew's somewhere. And, so Andrew's Andrew, there. That's amazing. Alan. Who's Alan? Alan? Huh? <laughs> what else is going on? I can't... Right, OK. Um, not a lot, they're just cleaning. Nothing really. Not really. OK, Everyone's all right. Everyone's just listen, cleaning after dinner. Everyone's just cleaning. All right, guys. They're filthy. just cleaning. Thank you very much. Disgusting. All right, guys. <laughs> Speak to you later. <laughs> right, still to come. Uh, I'll be harping back to the housemates' dark ages with Andrea Fawkes. But first, here's Emma with the news. Having been arguing on and off for over 24 hours, it finally looks like JJ and Josie have patched things up. At just past midnight, the couple admitted defeat and hugged it out. How many, how many other days have you come in the snug by yourself and had a little kit? How many other times have you walked around with sunglasses on 24-7 so that people can't see your eyes? You only did it because me and you were fighting. Is that really how you want to be in the movie house? No. Um, no. Well, then I don't see why we shouldn't resolve it. All right, then we resolved it now, haven't we? Cool. Are you going to be my husband again? <laughs> 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 Would you just have a little old snog and get it over with? So, our new fresh-faced trio have been cooking up a storm in the house today, quite literally. As part of today's task, they will be cooking all of the meals for the house. Rachel was chosen to cook breakfast, Katie cooked lunch, and Andrew will be cooking dinner. And by the looks of breakfast, the housemates are in for a rough ride. The dinner's ready, everyone. Come and get your tea. I mean, your breakfast. Talking, no need to be polite. Lovely. It's grey's on you, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's lovely. Really. No. It's, it's really nice. Yeah. It's really nice. Oh, Does anyone want second thing? Because it might be so. Yeah. <laughs> Proud of you, Rachel. You've done yeah. a well, good yeah. job. Yeah. An omelette for 12 people is hard enough to make, oh, especially with everything in it. Dude, it's absolutely awful. You know it and I know it. It's been spoiled by the cheese, hasn't it? And the bomb they. And maybe the bomb they mix. <laughs> so, uh, it was edible. <laughs> That kind of says it all. Bombay mixed omelette. Hmm. Now, on Friday, we caught up with our trio of spacemen before they were beamed down into the house. Rachel told us she had psychic powers, so we thought that we'd put her to the test on her predictions on this week's noms. Here's what she had to say. Hi, I'm going to give you my psychic nominations, and I predict our prediction this week will be. Hold on, the voices are talking to me. Yeah. Right, yeah. I reckon it's going to be Corin and Ben. Mmm, well, new housemates couldn't nominate or be nominated. So at 12.41 today, housemates face the fifth round of nominations. Here's a sneaky peek. I don't have a clue what she's talking about. Do you know, I'm the first to go, oh, yeah, I've had a boob job and I love it, like... 
like, throw it in my face, but, you know. Take, 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 take. You don't care. I just know that simmering underneath that beautiful exterior is an interior that could get very malicious at times. Now, if you were hot on your heels during the, during the uh, break and went to the website, you'll already know who the housemates have chosen. But I can now reveal that Kiva, Ify and Corin could be up. Uh, so, congratulations. You've got one right, Rachel. Don't forget, though, there is always save and replace. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. Channel4.com forward slash Big Brother to find out how everything unfolds. I don't need this anymore. I'm leaving it there now. Uh, if, you've, if you've ever had the feeling you've met our housemates before and it wasn't falling out of a Baz Vegas nightclub, then perhaps it was in another life. Here to guide us back to an ancient time when the pyramids were built, TV hadn't been invented and BB-8's Carol was just a teenager. She claims to know all about the housemates' past lives. It's Andrea Fawkes, everybody. How are you doing, Andrea? Let's high five it up. Uh, Andrea... Talk to us. Uh, talk to us about regression. Uh, how does it work exactly? Well, regression would mean if I was guiding them back into a past life, like okay. a one-to-one -one client. But I haven't had a chance to I mean, see the okay. housemates. So what I've had to do is use my intuitive abilities. Yeah. Just look at a picture of them, or just watch them on the TV. And I've just tuned into the lives that are showing up now. They've had myriad of past life, which means lots of past lives. But the ones that are showing to me now are the ones linked to the emotion they're showing at this point in the house. Okay. So other lives might pop up later on. So, so, what, so past lives effectively are, are having some kind of bearing on the way they react yeah. in, in today. Yeah. Yes. Our emotions, all our negative fears, phobias and issues have an origin. They're not all past life, but a vast majority of them are past life issues. And if I was to guide them on a one-to-one -one session back to that past life, we could heal it and release you could heal it. it. Right, okay. Yeah. Have you had a little thing about Emma and I? Have you thought I have. about our past lives? Well, yeah, and I'm looking you at your get? trousers the and they're so in keeping. Yeah, really? I'm seeing a sort of Victorian kind of gentleman dandy. Dandy, dandy. You say. dandy. dandy yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I look at you morphing into it now, though. So, yeah, I'm seeing you are very well to do, probably lived in the centre of London in quite yeah. an affluent area. Yeah. And Emma, I see in kind of our Emily Bronte Having a period. tough time of it, yeah? No, she was Having very, very, what I would say, quite reserved and genteel in that yeah. life. But oh, a very, washer woman, but you it say? Was, it was Oi! a happy life. Yeah. <laughs> a happy yeah. life. That's why I'm seeing that life, because she's very happy now. So that life is showing the happiness she had in that lifetime. Uh, what do you make of that, Em? <laughs> I love it, George. Right. Yeah. I've heard that about you. Come on. <laughs> hey. right, so let's go on to our, let's go on to our new housemates. Uh, they've been in there for two days. Uh, what's your opinion on the new movie? Oh, I'm so excited. I'll tell you who's caught my eye first is Andrew. Now, he's really, really interesting. I'm seeing him back in a time where Plato was, you know, back in Roman times, where he was an advisor to maybe a big philosopher or an important person, but he was probably actually an astrologer, and an astrologer in those days would be quite a mathematical job. Right, okay. But I That's know kind he... of in keeping. He's not changed that much. Well, I think he's got an issue with anything spiritual in this lifetime, but I think that's because in the past life where he was giving those pearls of wisdom, I think the guy he was giving these wisdoms to didn't like what he was saying, but really? I think he was speaking his truth, but I think he had a bit of a hard time, so there's a huge fear in him. <laughs> there's, one, there's one very sad lady who was touched yeah. by that. But I think everyone's going to bond with him. Yeah. He's quite good at mixing with the people. It's a bit funny looking in that picture, actually. Yeah, Andrew. well, he yeah. looks a little bit geeky, but Let's I think look, look people Keely. are going to warm to it. Now, Keely, do you know what I saw the minute I looked at her? I saw a lot of past life sadness, but I saw her looks in Looks like stocks. she can have it, doesn't she? Mm. Looks like she can take you down with two fingers. I wasn't tuning into that. <laughs> and what I could see was her in village stocks. You know, in ancient times yeah. where you'd done some something wrong or they thought you had and they put you in village oh, stocks and threw things at you. She'd love an old tomato right that's, in that face, That's what she? I saw. So I think she's yeah. going to crack quite early doors because she's really? not that strong. Okay. Not as strong as you might think. Not she think. makes out. No. And what about Rachel? Rachel, very interesting. She's going to cope, I think, the best of the three. Because I see her in past lives in tribal situations, yeah. particularly one as a Native American. So she's used to being in group settings. And she's going to love it. So isn't this it? is going to be fantastic for her. This is going to bring out her strength. This is just like Big Brother's made for it's her. It's her time, guys. It's her time. Keep an eye on yeah. Rachel. Let's move forward. Let's look at some of the other housemates. Anybody you've taken a particular loving, shine to? Loving Ben. Yeah. Now, Ben, yeah. I think Ben's forgetting that millions of us are watching him. Now, in a past life, Ben would be um, a gentleman's gentleman. But gentleman's gentleman would be someone who didn't really have the money, but I would maybe walk alongside you and be dressed as... Entourage. That. An entourage. 
entourage. Um, yeah. As Dapper or a, a consort to him, maybe. Uh, maybe it's a woman for a female's name, but I see him as a man in the past life. Okay. And um, he would be the gentleman's gentleman, and he would be very well spoken, very refined, but it was all an illusion. He had no real fake. money. No it was cash. all fake. Because no he was only working for you. If you made him unemployed, he would have nothing. Have any of those guys met before in previous lives? I'm thinking, perhaps, you know, we're all talking about Josie and, and John James. Yeah. I, I kind of feel they oh, might this is an old school vibe. But, but yeah. I feel they were brother and sister in a past life. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So I'm so not sure. Side. I'm not sure how sexual it's going to play out. We'll yeah. see. Wow. Yeah. And then Steve's been fascinating me as well. Really? Because I see him... In this lifetime, I see he's got to learn for people to help him, but he's got a lot of issues of guilt linked to a past life where he was a gladiator in Roman times, where he had to spar. Because in Roman times, in the gladiator times, you would kill your best friend like it was normal. Yeah. You know, like, oh, we're mates, now we're going to do battle in the yeah. amphitheatre. And I think he's got a lot of guilt about killing friends in past lives in oh. Roman amphitheatres. Nice upbeat stuff. Yeah, Thank so you very happy, much, happy Andrea. Stuff. Give her a big round of applause. <laughs> want to find out about all the other housemates, check it out online right now. Oh, right. Um, you're a gentleman's gentleman, I yes. think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right, sadly, that's all we have time for. Thank you to all of our guests today, and make sure you tune into the main show tonight. It's a slightly later time at 10.30 on Channel 4. Tomorrow we're going to be chatting to comedian Dave Schneider, plus Kinga will be popping in here with BB10's David Rand and Jordan Park. <laughs>